الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear sweet Islamic brothers and viewers of social media let's recite درود السلام upon the beloved and blessed prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Virtues of درود السلام صلى الله عليه وسلم The last final prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم states Whoever sends 50 salat upon me in a day, I will shake hands with him on the day of judgment. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, meaning a sincere intention is most superior action. A devotee of the Prophet make it a habit of making good intentions before every action. For a good intention causes one to enter paradise. Make some good intentions before listening to the bayan. For example, I will listen to the entire bayan in order to learn the religious knowledge. I will sit respectfully. I will avoid laziness during the bayan. I will listen to the bayan for my own re rectification. I will try to rely what I hear to others. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of social media, it is the boundless grace and favor of Allah azza wa jal that we once again about to witness the blessing of Ramadan. The beautiful month of Ramadan is almost upon us, bringing for us its mercy, forgiveness and such countless blessings which we cannot imagine. Just as it is stated in the hadith, if the people knew what was in Ramadan, my ummah would wish for it to be Ramadan for the entire year. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. In today's weekly sunnah inspiring ijtima, we will have the honor of hearing about the greatness and virtues of Ramadan. How great it is, how great its important is and how we should spend this sacred and honorable month. Many other beneficial points we, we will also be mentioned. Many other beneficial points will also be mentioned. Make an intention to listen to the entire bayan for the sake of Allah Almighty. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyiduna Abdullah bin Umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu was once on a journey with some of his companions. On the way they stopped at a place and laid down a dining mat in order to eat some food. During this time a shepherd came. So he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said to the shepherd, Come, take something from the dining mat. The shepherd replied, I am fasting. Sayyiduna Abdullah ibn Sayyidina Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, Are you observing a nafal fast in this intense heat whilst you're looking for or looking after your sheep in these mountains? He said, By Allah Almighty, I am doing this to make up for the previous days. With the intention of testing his piety, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, Will you sell one of your sheep to us? We will pay, we will pay you for it. And even, and even give you its meat so you can open your fast with it. He replied, These are not my sheep. They belong to my master. In order to test him further, he radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, Tell your master that a wolf took one of them. The, sl the slave replied, Then where is Allah Almighty? Meaning Allah Almighty is watching. He is aware of the reality and he will take me into for account. Hearing this, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu was impressed by him. Those when he radiallahu ta'ala anhu returned to Medina, he radiallahu ta'ala anhu 
purchased the shepherd and all of the sheep from his master. And then he radiallahu ta'ala anhu freed the shepherd and also gifted all the sheep to him. Sallu alal Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of social media, did you hear of how firm the certainty of that shepherd was in Allah Almighty? Such that when his piety was tested <coughs> and he was offered some money for one of the sheep and was told to inform his master that a wolf had ate it. He refused to be deceptive and said, My Lord is watching me. If only we could also adopt such mindsets. If only when Satan urges us to disobey Allah Almighty, we also desist from, desist from acts of disobedience with the certainty that Allah Almighty is watching us. Another thing we learn from this account is that the people of Allah Almighty have such passion and enthusiasm for keeping fast that they do not abandon nafal fast even during the day of intense heat so that they can attain proximity to Allah Almighty this contains a lesson especially for those Islamic brothers who miss the fasts of Ramadan and Mubarak without a valid shari reason or who keep some fasts at the beginning and omit the rest and for those who are reluctant to engage in the worship and performing good deeds even in this blessed month if only we are granted the ability to spend the blessed moments of Ramadan al-Mubarak in performing abundant worship and observing fasts with enthusiasm. Let us listen to the words of Allah Almighty in regards to the status and the obligation of fast. Hence Allah Almighty mentions the revelation of the Quran and the fast of Ramadan in part 2 Surah Al-Baqarah verse 185 translation Kanzal Iman the month of Ramadan in which the Quran descended is guidance and direction for the people and it contains clear criterion to judge between right and wrong so whoever amongst you finds this month must fast for the whole month dear Islamic brothers and viewers of social media, in this blessed verse, Allah Almighty has mentioned the speciality of Ramadan, that the Holy Quran was revealed in this blessed month. And alongside this speci speciality, he also mandated the fasting of Ramadan. Ramadan, remember, after affirmation of Tawheed, oneness of Allah Azza wa Jal, and prophethood and bringing faith in all of its necessities of the religion zuriyat deen just as salah has been made fund upon every muslim keeping fasts of ramadan has also been made fund upon every sane adult and muslim meaning man and woman it is stated in darul muqtar Fasting was made fard on 10th of Sha'ban al-Mu'azzam to A.H. So dear Islamic brothers and viewers of social media, the most superior worship in Ramadan al-Mubarak is fasting. Therefore, all Islamic brothers should make an intention to observe all the fast of Ramadan alongside performing other good deeds. Many virtues regarding the fast of Ramadan have been mentioned in the ahadith. Let's listen to two sayings of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this regard. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the Muslim who keeps the fast of Ramadan with the hope of reward, his previous sins will be forgiven. Number two, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, indeed, there is a door in paradise which is called Riyan. The fasting people will enter through this door on the day of judgment and no one besides them will enter it. It will be said, where are the fasting people? Those, these people will stand and no one besides them will enter through this door after they enter. The door will close and then nobody will be able to enter that door. So dear Islamic brothers, last and final, the wisdom of fasting. 
Just as fasting is very beloved worship of Allah Almighty, it is also has many purpose and wisdom. Due to fasting, a person constantly remains in the fear of Allah Almighty, whether in private or public. He strives to please Allah Almighty. He gains protection from displeasure of Allah Almighty and from the fire of hell. The fasting person gains steadfastness upon obeying Allah Almighty, helps in, say, helps in staying away from acts of disobedience and the ability to rectify his nafs. The desire of nafs are awakened and one attains physical health and purification of the heart. Dear Islam brothers and views of social media, before listening to more ways of spending Ramadan and doing virtuous acts, let us listen to the interesting reason of why Ramadan is called Ramadan. Ramadan is from Ramadan, which means to burn in the heat. When the names of the months were related from the ancient Arabs, the names of the months were kept in accordance to the season of that time. Ramadan came during a time of intense heat. Hence, it is called Ramadan. Hakim al-Ummat Mufti Ahmad Yar Han Na'imi Rahamallahu ta'ala alayhi states, Just as furans cleans impure metal and makes pure metal valuable by transform, transforming it into parts, into a part and makes gold worthy of being worn by the beloved. In a similar manner, fasting removes the sins of the sinners, increases the rank of the religious and increases one in proximity of Allah Almighty, which is called Ramadan. During this month, Muslims bear the heat of hunger and thirst, or it is known as Ramadan because it burns away sins. The beloved Prophet wasallam said, this month was given the name Ramadan for it to burn the sins. Subhanallah. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of social media, rejoice and prepare yourself for worship, recitation of the glorious Quran, Nuwafil, Zikr and other virtuous acts and thank Allah Almighty because we are going to be blessed with Ramadan once again. The importance and virtue of this blessed month can be understood from the falling point before the arrival of this blessed month. Our beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentions its virtue to his noble companions Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu and encouraged them to perform acts of worship in this month. Sayyidina Suleiman Farsi Rahamallahu Ta'ala Alayhi states the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam addressed us on the final day of Sha'ban and said, O people, a great and blessed month is coming to you. The month in which three, the month in which there is a night that is better than a thousand months. Allah Almighty has made fasting fard in this month. Standing in its night, i.e. offering tarawi, is sunnah. If you do a good deed it, in this month, it will be equivalent to carrying out a fard act in any other months. And if you perform a fard act in this month, it will be equivalent to carrying out 70 fard acts in any other month. This is the month of patience. And the reward of patience is paradise. This is the month of sympathy and doing good. And the believer's sustenance is increased in this month. In this month, the one who serves a fasting person with something to do iftar with, he will be forgiven for his sins. He will be freed from the fire of hell. And he will be rewarded the same as the one who fasted without any reduction in the reward of the fasting person. We asked, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, not all of us possess something that he can present for iftar. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Allah Almighty will give this reward to the one who gives a date or a sip of water or a sip of milk to the fasting person. This is that month in which, is, 
which its beginning first 10 days is mercy its middle 10 days is forgiveness and its end last days is freedom from the fire of hell the one who demands less work from his slave i.e. those working beneath him in this month Allah Almighty will forgive him and free him from hell the one who serves the fasting person with a meal that fills his stomach Allah Almighty will give him water from my fountain such that after drinking it he will never feel thirsty again and he will enter paradise dear Islamic brothers and viewers of social media if we keep in mind the significance of this blessed hadith we can spend Ramadan in the blessed manner because there is a great guidance for us in this blessed hadith in regards to how we should spend Ramadan we should spend Ramadan by keeping our fasts offering all our Tarawi Salah performing an abundance of optional nafal good deeds being punctual in Fard Salahs showing patience upon calamities like for example COVID hardships and any unpleasant words of others displaying sympathy and goodness towards others and Islamic brothers seeking mercy of Allah Almighty and asking for forgiveness pleading for the freedom from the fire of hell organizing iftar for fasting people inshallah if we spend Ramadan performing these virtuous acts we will attain tremendous blessings of Ramadan Allah Almighty will be pleased with us the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will be pleased with us the mercy of Allah Almighty will descend upon us our sins will be forgiven and will be granted freedom from the fire of hell we will be honored with drinking from the fountain of Kothar and we will be granted entry into paradise as well Sallu alal Habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam My dear Islamic brothers Many tremendous gifts of Ramadan have been pre presented Ya Allah Azawajal give his ability to fast in the month of Ramadan And the masajids will be open for the Salatul Taravi Bearing in mind social distance will be put in place So my dear Islamic brothers Alhamdulillah we have listened to the virtues of Ramadan And very few days Inshallah by next week we will, in, we will be in the month of Ramadan al-Mubarak I urge Islamic brothers and Islamic sisters And our youngsters who are balig Inshallah to fast in the month of Ramadan As it is obligatory upon us Like Salah is obligatory upon us We come across that because of covid of all these situations that are taking places that our iman is becoming weak and we have to revive our iman and we have to become strong and we have to fast in the month of Ramadan to attain the pleasure of Allah and safety from these calamities so my dear Islam brothers if we don't fast and if we disobey this month then calamities can approach us and very soon we are going to die as well and missing our fast deliberately we have to make up for that fast even if we become a hundred years old whether it is Salah whether it is the fast of Ramadan we have to make up for that fast otherwise we will be punished on the day of judgment for missing one single fast so my dear Islam brothers may Allah Azzawajal give his ability to act upon what is being heard and to pass on what is being heard and inshallah azza wa jal to fast in the month of Ramadan may Allah azza wa jal reward you immensely Ameen bijahin nabil Ameen sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sallu alal habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam